Today I want to go over some basic concepts of off-road driving, something I'll call off-road angles for shorthand. There are three angles that I'll cover here, the approach, breakover, and departure angles. These angles are geometric characteristics of your vehicle and they, determined, they determine how well your vehicle can ascend, cross over, and descend steep obstacles. Whether you are climbing up a steep bank or dropping off a sand dune or climbing up over a pile of rocks, they are the characteristics that determine whether you'll be able to do that um, without damaging your vehicle or getting stuck. In this video, I'll explain what each angle is and the role it plays in your vehicle's off-road capability. I will also link to a, an article on ordealist.com, my website, which goes into a lot more detail and offers some more, you know, sort of tips on improving um, your vehicle's performance in this area. Let's start with approach angle because this is the one you'll most likely have to consider when you're first approaching an obstacle. The approach angle is the steepest angle a hill or obstacle can have so that your vehicle, front wheels of your vehicle can rise up onto that um, obstacle without your bumper hitting the obstacle. The vehicle's approach angle is defined as the angle between the ground level and a line drawn from the lowest part of the front of the vehicle, usually the front bumper, to where the front tire touches the ground. A short-nosed vehicle with large tires can roll up onto a steep obstacle thanks to its steep approach angle. In contrast, a car with a low bumper and long nose has a shallow approach angle and will hit the rock before the tires can connect, making it difficult, if not impossible, to climb this rock without causing damage. Next, we're going to talk about departure angle, which is the rear end counterpart of approach angles. The departure of your vehicle will determine how steep of an angle your car will be able to climb so that your rear bumper doesn't hit the ground as your back tires climb onto the slope. Or if you are descending, it defines how steep of an obstacle you can drive down without your bumper hitting the obstacle as your tires come onto level ground. The departure angle is defined as the angle between the ground level and a line drawn from the rear of the back tire to the lowest point on the car's rear. Okay, the last angle we will talk about is breakover angle. So breakover angle is the um, angle that your vehicle can um, safely, cleanly cross over when it goes over some type of peak. So when you have one wheel on one side of the peak and the other wheel on the other side of that peak, um, is the apex of that peak going to hit the belly of your car? There are a number of factors that affect breakover angle, but generally speaking, the shorter a vehicle's wheelbase and the larger its tires, the more clearance it will have when it goes over a peak. I have a four-door Jeep Wrangler, um, so that's a longer wheelbase than a um, two-door Jeep Wrangler, obviously. And so, uh, you know, when I go out with my friends who drive shorter Jeeps, they tend to be able to kind of go up and down things uh, without worrying so much about scraping their bellies. I mean, it still happens, but less so than uh, when I do it. Um, the flip side of that is my longer vehicle has, um, you know, sometimes I'm able to kind of get the front tires up higher on something once my back tires are up on it which can give me a little more um, traction to get up things or a little, you know, I can grab onto things that they can't quite get to.
you don't necessarily need to know exactly what your vehicle's um, you know breakover angle or approach or departure angle is. Um, you kind of get a sense of it over time. So um, it can be cool to actually go out and sort of measure it and figure out exactly what it is. But really, it's a matter of, of going out and driving your vehicle around and over things um, to get a sense of, you know, wh what angle is it that's going to cause you to hit, hit the ground with your bumper or when you're going up over something for your belly to scrape the ground. Um, it's almost more of an intuition thing that, that comes with driving your vehicle a lot off-road. Okay, that should give you a basic understanding of approach, breakover, and departure angles. Like I said, I've got an article on ordealist.com. Um, that goes into a lot more detail, including giving kind of the formulas for how you could figure out the exact angles for your vehicle and also kind of the factors that you could alter on your vehicle to improve its performance. Hope that was helpful. Be safe and have fun out there.